Good morning or good afternoon everybody wherever you're listening to this webinar from. My name is Nadine Bowles-Newark and I'm here with my colleague Stephen King. We work at the U United Nations Environment Programme World Conservation Monitoring Centre in Cambridge in the UK. We're both in the Ecosystem Assessment and Policy Support Programme. And today we're going to be speaking to you about two of the projects in our portfolio that we're working on currently in Uganda. Um, both of these projects aim to provide targeted biodiversity information for national decision-making processes. One of them is supported by the GEF and the other one is by the Darwin Initiative, but both are linked and have similar aims and objectives. So both of these projects explicitly recognise biodiversity as an essential part of Uganda's natural capital stock. The flow of benefits from these stocks of biodiversity include provisioning services like foods, medicines and other products, recreational and tourism opportunities, national emblems and other cultural services. The sustainable use and management of these stocks of biodiversity is fundamental to maximising economic growth and human wellbeing in Uganda over the medium to long term. And you can't manage what you don't measure. So these projects seek to address this by raising awareness of and integrating the value of biodiversity into Uganda's economic development and environmental planning. Our experience in mainstreaming and in biodiversity information management has taught us that supporting national decision making is not just about providing more or better data. It's about targeting those decisions that directly impact on the sustainability of natural capital and finding those entry points for biodiversity information. It's about making data available through strengthening sharing platforms and databases. And it's about understanding the decision making context and the constraints that are put on decision makers and the frameworks they work within in their day to day work. These issues in moving from data to decisions are fundamental to both of these projects. The first project that we're going to talk to you about today is the Connect project. This is a global project funded by the Global Environment Facility. It's worth five million dollars over four years taking place in three countries in sub-Saharan Africa, Ghana, Mozambique and Uganda. And our partners in Uganda are NEMA and the National Planning Authority. We have multiple partners across the world as well. This project is designed to achieve a balance of deep interventions in a small number of countries with broader engagement and showcasing at that global level. The components of the project are first to understand the in-country demands for and the barriers to using biodiversity information within government decision making, including clarifying the format, timing and packaging of information required. The second component is to mobilise and repackage existing biodiversity information from a range of sources to meet a number of these demands. And then finally, to strengthen the connection between government decision makers and biodiversity and ecosystem service data providers in order to sustainably provide policy relevant, spatially explicit information and meet ongoing national needs. So the second project is the Darwin Natural Capital Accounting Project and this project is working to integrate natural capital into sustainable decision making in Uganda. Uh, it's working with the National Planning Authority, the National Environmental Management Authority and the Ugandan Bureau of Statistics in uh, Uganda. And it's structured around four main components. The first is to build awareness of biodiversity related natural capital and the benefits it provides. In the second phase, we've developed uh, an accounting approach that is specific to the needs uh, of Uganda. The third phase of the project is now to create the communities of practice to implement the accounting approach, compile the accounts uh, and establish uh, a ready regular production process uh, as well as uh, building the capacity of people to use the accounts uh, in their decision making processes. In the final phase we, we move to institutionalizing the accounting approach, working with key sectors to use the information the accounts provide to inform their sector development strategies. In terms of responding to the policy demands 
uh, for natural capital accounting. The Darwin project is really structured to address three key policy documents uh, for development in Uganda. This includes the Uganda Green Growth Development Strategy, which identifies natural capital and sustainable exploitation of that natural capital uh, as a key driver for improving livelihoods, uh, addressing poverty and alleviating poverty, uh, and for more formal economic development in Uganda. In addition, uh, the National Development Plan has identified a natural resources-led economic development that draws on biodiversity related natural capital and other natural capital assets as a means of improving incomes and job creation. And then finally, the Uganda National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan also explicitly recognizes the role for biodiversity accounting in the sustainable use of biodiversity in the country. Similarly, the Connect project identified the National Development Plan as a key entry point for biodiversity information and also in terms of their wider land use planning and specifically in terms of their agriculture sector strategy and development plan which is under development including identifying areas how they can um, increase their production for cash crops and um, improve their regulation of application of agrochemicals and also regulation of ex exploitation of fisheries resources so in order to furnish this demand um, through the Connect project, one of our key partners, Mike Gill, developed this workflow. This visualizes how the data flows from a raw format and through, from the data sources through to various systems of analysis and modeling. Which data hosting platforms are used then make up parts of this puzzle. And then this flows through to the information products which are the outputs of both of these projects. The Connect project specifically will develop time series biodiversity indicators, which track progress towards national and sector specific targets. It'll also produce integrated spatial data layers um, for land cover maps, including biodiversity hotspots, threatened ecosystems, and threatened species outside of protected areas. It'll also produce information for policy briefs on the supportive and regulating ecosystem services on agricultural production and economic growth that feed into specific decision support tools for various sectors. Within this diagram as well, we can see in the analysis and modeling column uh, that the SEA EEA is identified. This is the statistical standard uh, for natural capital accounting, specifically for, for ecosystems as natural capital assets. And we can see that linking in the information products to these natural capital accounts on ecosystem asset health. And this is what we're trying to develop under the Darwin project to get these biodiversity related natural capital accounts being compiled on a regular and consistent basis to provide time series information both on the condition of ecosystems as well as the species they contain uh, but also uh, the benefits that people in Uganda receive from them and the idea is that that can then be used uh, to support decision making around national development uh, but also for direct uh, reporting uh, for the state of the environment reporting uh, but also for tracking uh, SDG targets and progress towards them. So why use the system of environmental economic accounting for, for, as a natural capital accounting framework? Well, this has been developed to provide a standardized statistical information system for, for natural capital accounting. So by using standard terms, classifications and measurement boundaries, such as the stated ecosystem typology, with defined accounting periods and defined spatial boundaries, and making links explicit to, to formal economic units, uh, the SEER then allows for multiple data on ecosystems to be organized uh, and also integrated with economic and wider social uh, economic statistics that uh, statistic statistical agencies routinely produce. And so from this uh, gambit of statistical information that we see on the left hand side of this, this, this diagram, uh, because of this coherence we can now build uh, a coherent picture of ecosystems uh, and the interactions between ecosystems, society and the economy. And this allows us to uh, inform a more integrated approach to 
economic and land use planning that better considers biodiversity uh, and the environment alongside economic development and social well-being. For example, by combining data on poverty and ecosystem service supply uh, and use, we can identify where ecosystem investment will have the greatest social returns or by combining information on condition with environmental expenditure, we can start to understand what the uh, returns on ecological investments might be. So economies and societies uh, depend on many different natural capital assets for, for a whole host of different benefits. And this is what this diagram is trying to, to identify here. And accordingly, understanding the, the stocks of these different assets and recording these different benefit flows is going to require that multiple different natural capital accounts are produced. And so there's actually a number of different accounting initiatives ongoing in Uganda and this, this diagram is trying to show how the thematic focus of, of the Darwin project on biodiversity related natural capital fits in with, with other ongoing initiatives to develop natural capital uh, accounts in Uganda, uh, notably around water and energy uh, under the auspices of uh, UBOS obviously, but with support from the UN Statistics Division. Uh, and then land, forest and biomass is also being considered via the World Bank Waves project. And the Darwin project aims to complement this by providing uh, uh, accounts more linked to, to ecosystems uh, and species and these components of, of biodiversity. And it's important to stress that because all these accounts are being developed using the same SEER framework, the information on all these different accounts can be integrated with, it, with, it, with each other, uh, and this can help inform on planning uh, around synergies, trade-offs, uh, and these more holistic uh, approaches to development. So really zooming in now on uh, the specific themes of the Darwin Natural Capital Accounting Project, uh, in consultation with stakeholders and our partners uh, in Uganda have identified uh, these three themes of land degradation, so understanding really the evolution of soil facility, uh, uh, fertility, sorry, uh, and the implications for agricultural production in Uganda. Uh, the second uh, theme being fisheries to organize information on declining fish stocks uh, and understand what the implications of this might be for uh, exports uh, and the earnings that come with exports and also for the livelihoods of, uh, of Ugandans. And then the third theme is really an integrated uh, account around biodiversity and tourism that aims to organise data on the major tourism sites in Uganda as well as uh, the species uh, that people are visiting those sites to, to view. And the idea is this will highlight the value of, of tourism expenditure related to uh, these iconic species in, in Uganda. So the progress so far in the Darwin project, uh, we've established uh, what the user needs uh, uh, and the accounting outputs uh, should be to, to, to best meet these, these needs in Uganda. Uh, we've developed a, a set of method notes which take the SEER framework and provide a, a more detailed uh, methodology for application in Uganda across these three uh, accounting themes. Uh, we've used one of these to develop a set of indicative biodiversity uh, and tourism accounts and now we have uh, uh, three national consultants working on compiling these accounts uh, and creating the institutional uh, links between data providers uh, and the Bureau uh, of Statistics. Uh, and this is the website, uh, the bottom of the slide for the project, uh, and we have all our outputs posted up there if you want to know more details about the specific uh, accounting uh, approaches and how they're being compiled. Uh, and if you want to look at previous work in Uganda on ecosystem uh, accounting, we also have that hosted at that, that website. And so progress so far in the, in the Connect project is that we have undertaken a political economy analysis um, in collaboration with our key partners IIED. And we've also undertaken a review of biodiversity information of the information landscape in Uganda and in each of the countries. Through this, we've um, identified the key decision points. And then at the present time, we are co-developing these biodiversity information products that you saw in the workflow slide with the users of those products. Um, again, here is the website for Connect Project um, if you'd like to have further information and look at some of our outputs so far. 
in terms of next steps for Connect, we will be co-developing in, in an agile way the biodiversity information products. We'll be putting in place agreements between data users and data providers for the use of those products over the long term. We will be creating a political strategy for rollout of the products and also for the use and embedding of products into the decision making processes. And uh, we will be producing user guidelines, capacity building and importantly e-learning materials about development of these information products that will be available to a wider audience. In terms of the Darwin uh, project in Uganda, the next steps are now to finalise uh, the accounts for the three themes which should occur over the next uh, few months. From that we will then uh, have a series of uh, capacity building workshops that will be training uh, people in Uganda on the production uh, as well as the use of these biodiversity related natural capital accounting products uh, and we hope to also capture those in a way that can be uh, shared uh, remotely. Uh, and then in the final stage, we will take these uh, accounting outputs uh, and work with a specific sector on a detailed application of the information they can contain and how that can uh, inform their, their development planning. Uh, and this will be around the sustainable use of biodiversity related natural capital uh, and using uh, these natural capital stocks to unlock livelihood opportunities in Uganda. So thank you very much for joining us for uh, this presentation. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it uh, and we look forward to rejoining with you uh, at the webinar.